Okay, so this video follows straight off the back of my previous video that talked about the potential for new EQ range batteries, which is the new name for the ECS cubes, and that it looks like there could be an EQ5000 and an EQ7000 battery on its way. In a similar fashion, I um, won't reveal all of my sources, but some of them are people, some of them are, uh, are software that reverse engineer and we can see um, certain model numbers being available etc so uh, i'm pretty confident that there are additional ep models uh, coming very soon how soon not sure but let's have a look at the model offerings so today we have the ep3 which is a little over three kilowatt hour uh, battery option that's available you can go to one of our recommended suppliers and buy that today the ep4 i know should be available in, in our market but I haven't seen any, so put a question mark around that one. The EP5, very popular battery right now, especially as they're rolling out as standard the EP5 uh, warm or H uh, variant, which is the one with the heater in. So see lots of EP5s on on people's uh, people's posts, the photos that they upload to the group. Great, really nice looking battery. I've installed a few of them. They're surprisingly heavy for their size but really compact and nice nice looking, uh, great battery to work with and live with. The EP6, I'm sure this battery was announced a while ago, along with the EP3, 4 and 5, but I haven't seen any in the wild, I haven't seen any photos, I haven't seen any firmwares for them, so I'm not sure whether the 4 and the 6 are just models that just aren't being made, or made for different markets, not sure. Um, Maybe a good question for the next Fox Q&A. EP11, again, just like the EP5, seeing a lot of those being installed. Really great looking unit. Nice when they're wall mounted. And all of these EP battery models uh, so far have been expandable up to four battery modules when you use a junction uh, box. So you can have a single battery linked directly to your inverter. But for batteries two, three and four, you have to purchase an extra, it's a £170 junction box that connects everything together. Because these batteries are connected in parallel, unlike everything else um, that Fox do in their high voltage range, which is all serially connected. So far, not really showing you anything too on the edge of the seat. These are all models that are either available today or have been discussed previously. And then I spotted, I nearly missed it, I spotted the EP12, so reverse engineering what um, Fox's product lines to capacities mean, this will probably be somewhere in the region of a 12 point, uh, sorry, an 11.8 kilowatt hour battery, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, um, but is a larger battery uh, than the EP11 is what I believe it to be. Nothing official from Fox yet, but um, the fact that this is starting to appear in the Fox code means that I'm suspicious that they are either mid-development cycle or um, it's later in the development cycle and they're just sorting out the product launch for it or it's just a leftover model number in the code that will never see the light of day and um, was something that's been was thought about, developed, but never released. But I'm pretty pretty excited to see the full range of EP, EP batteries being uh, made available and especially if there's something that's a little bit bigger than the EP11 which is already a, a very large battery but uh, the EP12 bigger the number better and as you all know with batteries you can never have too much battery storage anyway I spotted this and thought that those people that are thinking about battery expansion uh, etc um Looks like there may be an additional model. So if you're an EP, if you've got a single EP11, you're thinking of scaling up. Oh, it might, it's a difficult choice to decide whether or not you want to continue scaling an EP11 or maybe uh, sell that one and replace it with two EP12s, something like that. It all depends on your storage needs. But anyway, I, if I'm to predict the future, I think we're going to see an EP12 sometime, probably springtime. But uh, We'll refer back to this video in a few months' time and uh, point and laugh or say, Will, you were spot on the money and uh, 
your early predictions and some of the telltale signs for this model came true. Anyway, have a great weekend. Thanks.